Today the postman dropped off another package here at the solar shed and it was this, the Muztool G600 digital microscope and I've been looking really closely at lots of things ever since. And the microscope does come in some nice retail packaging. Innovation beyond imagination. Uh, 1 to 600 times what? Well, uh, we might get onto that shortly. Industry education, collection, biological, mineral, high definition, 4.3 inch LCD, 3.6 megapixel, high expansion, whatever that means. High speed, smart, multi purpose, super battery. In fact, I think somewhere on here it mentions it's got a super battery yep there we go super battery working for six plus hour and in the box apart from the unit itself there which uh, feels fairly light but in an odd way also reasonably solid uh, is a sucker stand the sort of thing you use to hold your mobile phone to your windscreen in your car very sticky that um a mini USB to USB A cable and a 2 amp, and I got the European version here 2 amp 5 volt uh, cheap USB uh, adapter here. So, when you get it out of the box, the first impressions are quite good. This seems to be a nice matte screen, not terribly reflective. Um, although under the shed bench lights uh, there is some reflection uh, the screen does seem to be 4.3 inches uh, diagonally we've got a power button menu a mode button left and right and okay and then this is the focus knob on the bottom is the actual microscope itself which is surrounded by some LEDs with this diffuser on. I think I can count eight LEDs there on a little ring PCB. Uh, the mic uh, microscope camera is through that hole there. And uh, left hand side on the top, there's absolutely nothing, but on the right hand side, uh, we've got an adjustment here and that actually fades the lamp here, the LEDs higher and lower. There's a micro SD card slot and the uh, mini USB connector for charging the internal battery. Now one thing to note that while I've been using this and playing around with it, uh, the stand is quite sturdy once you get it stuck onto something nice and firm, uh, but the connection between the two units is very loose indeed and the slightest knock uh, can knock the uh, microscope here away from the stand which is a shame so uh, it may be worth I don't know uh, sticking that on with a bit of blue tack to at least give it something uh, to fight against. Now while I've been playing with this I've been using this the case of my iRodder gas soldering iron and uh, well if we put it there somewhere and stick the uh, stand on move the lever over so that it sticks well and truly and then attach the clips on the back, that's a struggle. Yeah, but once it's on there, the actual assembly is quite solid. So uh, if you are gonna use one of these, you do need something to suck this onto and uh, something solid, obviously with enough space here to actually put under the item you're interested in looking at. So without further ado, let's turn the muzz tool on, press and hold the button for a second or two and the screen pops up pretty quickly. Uh, now that aliasing there is just showing up on the video, it's not showing up in real life, and for some reason we've got a date and time here in the bottom left hand corner, and I'm afraid to say it isn't 2016. So I've got hold of a TP4056 here, so we've placed that under the microscope, and now if I focus, there we go, we can see that resistor there, 122, 1.2K, and uh, that's showing up absolutely lovely. And if we actually look at the TP4056 itself, uh, we can clearly see 
the silk screen there on the chip even better if I put it the right way up and if we move over here to the uh, 8205 MOSFET we can quite clearly see the quality of the soldering job on that particular module. Now we can adjust that light level as I mentioned if I reduce the light level there we can uh, see that clearly it is quite a bit darker on the image even with the bench lights on and uh, if I turn that back up again it seems to adjust quite nicely and there we go we can see the image a bit brighter again so if we move the TP4056 away and I think turn the lamp down a little uh, we can perhaps see the uh, on-screen graphics a little bit better 1080p is indicated here in the top right hand corner and we are in video recording mode because you can record videos to that micro SD card of what you are looking at uh, this symbol here I have no idea what that does uh, it looks like a camera uh, with a 3 and I don't know we'll have a look at the menu in a minute and see if we can work that out there's a battery level indicator down here showing that my battery is reasonably low I have been playing with this a fair bit today and the uh, indicator here suggests that there is no SD card installed so uh, let's sort that out and if we look at the menu here, press the menu button, we can change the resolution from 1080p, 720p to VGA if that floats your boat. And uh, pressing menu returns back. We can change the date tag or in fact turn it off entirely, which uh, is probably sensible. That icon we saw on the screen there is motion detection. And I guess um, that's... I don't know, if you've got bugs and you want to capture a bug going under your microscope perhaps, I don't know. Cyclic recording so that you can leave it uh, to overwrite previous recordings. Um, and uh, there we've got exposure levels that can be adjusted as well. Um, then we've got, we can format the SD card, which should be fairly straightforward. There we go, format success. Uh, language settings of which there are many I believe auto power off um, which can be set to one or three minutes and finally screen savers for you know when you don't want to look at what's under your microscope you want to look at a screen saver we can reset the uh, system here and change the frequency in case the uh, ambient lights around the microscope are causing a problem uh, we can change the time um, which I'm not interested in uh, rotate the video by 90 degrees presumably uh, fill lights and uh, this particular one has firmware version 1.3.0 so with the uh, multi tool microscope lens about two inches perhaps a little bit more away from the TP4056 here with it focused, we can clearly see the bonding wires there on the LEDs and the quality of the soldering job. And of course, that leaves us plenty of space here to get the soldering iron in and, uh, you know, reflow those joints if we need to. And now with about an inch to play with between the Muzz Tool lens and the TP4056 board, we can see that LED very clearly now and it does just give me enough space to uh, just get the soldering iron in and reflow that joint very badly in fact if i press ok and record that then perhaps i can install this video well into this video and it's just as easy to take a still image here of the dw01 protection ic on the tp4056 board uh, we press the mode button and it changes it to camera mode and then we press ok and that should when we press mode again to go into playback show us the uh, picture that we captured now of course this is a little bit 
frittery and moving and that sort of thing so pressing a button to get a good quality image well possibly not the best design so all in all i'm quite impressed with the muzz tool g600 lcd digital microscope i think it's going to be a handy addition in the shed a few things to mention though the connection between the stand that comes with it and the unit itself is a weak point that you need to watch out for and when you press the buttons to start the recording and take pictures well inevitably the thing moves around quite a bit however i have now seen an optional extra stand an aluminium stand that you can buy so perhaps that's an option if you choose to buy this item the other thing to mention is when i imported the video i took earlier into my ipad it turns out it's actually 720p not 1080p like the menu item suggested and uh, i've done a bit more testing with that and i can't get 1080p video out of this unit so if that's a big problem for you perhaps you need to look elsewhere other than that i think this is a really useful addition to the shed and i'm sure i'll be using it in the future hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have give me a thumbs up subscribe down below comment if you can and i'll see you next time thanks for watching